Namaste and welcome to App Riders. As you all know, Flutter 3.10 had just announced. And there is one particular announcement that I am very excited to experiment with. That is, you can now embed your Flutter application inside existing web applications. That is, if you build a web application using Flutter, you can embed that application into your existing website as a part of it, as a small section of it, or inside a particular HTML component in your existing website. And in the official demo, there is a two different demos. One is simply a Flutter web app where index.html is modified to add more JavaScript and HTML in it. Whereas another is embedding Flutter application in an Angular application. So me, I like Sivalt framework. So today's experiment will be to embed Flutter web application inside a Sivalt kit application. All right, these are two of the frameworks that I love very much, Sivalt kit and Flutter. So I'm going to make a Sivalt kit project and inside a Sivalt kit phase, I'm going to embed a Flutter application. So let us start by creating a Sivalt kit project, which I can do by npm create Sivalt latest I'm going to call it Sivalt Flutter Experiment. So this would create a Sivalt project. I'm just going to select a skeleton project and I'll be using JS Talk. I don't want anything for now because I'm just trying to experiment with it. So let me open up it in VS Code. So here is my Sivalt Kit project. And inside this Sivalt Kit project, I'll create my Flutter project. So let's create, if I do Flutter version, I'm already in Flutter 3.10. So let's create Flutter, create platform web. I'll call it my, my app. So this would create my app here. And I should be able to run my app if I run it. Let's see, Google Chrome. This is a default counter app. I'm not going to do any interop, like any communication between my Sivalt app and Flutter app in this particular experiment, which I might add later. So our project is running, this is good. So we have our Flutter project ready. Now we can also test our Sivalt project. npm install So I have a web browser here. So let's run npm run dev. So this should open up default Sivalt kit project. So what I want is I want to load my Flutter application inside a div in this Sivalt kit project. Okay. So let us start. What can we do? First, first we need to set up some things. Uh, one thing that we need is white static copy plugin um, and we need to set up white config. What I want to do is when I build a Flutter project, I want to copy the build of Flutter project inside our static folder. So first let's add the plugin npm install dev white plugin static copy and let's open up white config here I want to import 
write a static copy plugin and inside plugins we want to add write a static copy and here we need target so what do we want to copy we want to copy so source will be our flutter our my app slash build slash web all the file inside this and then destination will be flutter which will be a subfolder inside our static folder okay so we have a white static copy next thing we want is whenever we run npm dev or npm build we want it to first build our flutter project so we can add pre dev and pre build scale script here pre dev all right so before we can use flutter app we need to build flutter app so what i can do is pushed pushed uh, my app and then clean build web and pop okay push directory into my app inside my app we run flutter clean and then flutter build web and finally we do pop d so what this will do is every time we run npm run dev it will first build flutter only then it will run so let's see npm run dev so it should run see flutter clean it's building flutter getting dependency building our project for web cupertino icons.ttf was three second font mid was three second compiling liv main dot dot p o ah sorry i made a typo here popped let's run npm run dev again okay so this should build for web and what this white static copy is doing is inside the flutter app whenever i build inside build folder there is a web folder where all our flutter built files are i'm copying that to the static folder inside flutter which we can see here i think dot cvault kit generated client uh, not yet we can't see i think we can see it when we run build so for now let's make sure that it is there so we do this copy right now what we can do we want to show it inside this page so let's get to our routes page dot cvault and there let us add a component few different things first i want div a flutter target div where we will show our target or where we will display our flutter application let's add a script and let this will be our target and let us bind this let's bind this to target let's add css let's add css dot flutter target and here i want width to be 300 pixels and height to be 450 pixels let's say let's set a background color so that we can see it okay so we can see our div we want to load and display our flutter application inside this div so first what we need is we need a flutter script um, this is script so i'll show you inside my app inside build in web we have this flutter.js which will copy to our static folder 
slash flutter folder right so inside a static folder we'll copy it we are copying it into a flutter folder so i can write let's do cvault head script src flutter flutter.js so we want to add a script flutter.js next thing we would want is we want to use this flutter.js when the page has loaded to load our flutter application so how can we do that in cvault we can use on mount so on mount uh, we need to import it from cvault not this okay and on mount is a function which is called when the page is loaded so here what we want to check is if we want we want to check whether or not flutter engine is available which is if window dot underscore flutter so if flutter engine is available next what we want to call is flutter engines loader dot load entry point so window dot flutter dot loader dot load entry point and we need to provide bunch of configurations here the first one is entry point url so entry point url is our main dot 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 js so which when copied goes into flutter main dot 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 js next when the entry point is loaded we want our app to run so we can do that as on so on entry entry point loaded async function where we get we get an engine initializer okay and here we want typo async okay here what we want is we want to call engine initializer dot initialize engine so we want to initialize the engine app runner equals engine initializer dot initialize engine and again we need to provide configuration host host element so where do we want our flutter app to be displayed in this target so our host element is target and we need asset base so asset base will be flutter okay because we are copying all these assets inside static flutter folder so this is app runner finally we can do await app runner dot we need to call the run app so now see once i hot restart i can see my flutter application loaded inside this div let's add a border here border one px solid so we can see a border around it margin left let's add now we have our flutter application running inside a cvault kit phase so this is awesome if you want to find the complete source code you can visit the repository link that i provided in the video description don't forget to give your star and in order to watch more tutorials like this subscribe and let me know how you liked this video also if you want to go further and want to integrate communication between our cvault kit app and the flutter app let me know i will do that experiment soon in the next video thank you everyone see you again in another episode